So again, in this video, I'm gonna start defining uh, parts of the curve using uh, using equations. And the first thing I want to start off is start off with is um, is the arc length, right? The arc length. You can you know denoted a l or s. Arc length denoted a l or s. You know most of the time you'll see L. Most of the time you'll see L. So the length is usually L. But what's there's a generic formula for arc giving you know subtended by a certain angle. And that what is that? That's S is equal to theta R. Right? S is equal to theta R. Where S is the arc length Theta is the angle subtended by that certain amount of arc, and R is your radius. And this is this theta is in where theta is in radians. Is in radians. And there's pi to get to get from radians to degrees. There is pi radians, pi rad, in 180 degrees, right? Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. You know, I shouldn't do divided by. Pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so let me put this in, you know, surveying terms. Um, L, which is S. L is equal to theta or delta. Theta is going to be now delta, our angle subtended by the arc. Delta times, we want, it's going to be 180 over pi times r. Right? Because we want, we want, Theta is in, in radians for this. We want degrees, so this will give us degrees. Radians will cancel and we'll get degrees. So that's the definition for the length of a curve. All right, now let's define the chord. The chord, which is this distance here. This whole distance, which chord is this whole distance here. But to solve for the curve, I mean for the chord, I usually draw, which is probably, you know, it's probably good to draw, is divide the delta by 2. Right? So you get exactly half the curve, half the chord, this will be, this distance would be the, the chord over 2. And this is going to be delta over 2. This is going to be delta over 2. Right? Because, so, you know, there's no other real way to solve for the chord. This is the easiest way to solve for the chord is break this up. We have a, a um, right triangle, and we have to use a little trigonometry here. So what do we have? We want to solve for the opposite, right? We want to solve for the opposite given the radius. So we're going to say that the sine so let me circle this one's done this one's done l is done we can find that now we're going to work on the chord so the sine of delta over 2 right is equal to opposite the chord over 2 um, over over the radius right so now we want to solve we want to solve for the chord so the chord you know this the two and the r are on the bot and the radius are on the bottom so you know I'll just move this over r which means R 
sine delta over 2 is equal to c over 2, which means c is equal to 2r sine of delta over 2. That's the definition of the chord. Definition of the chord. All right. Now, to get the tangent, solve for the tangent. Remember, the tangent is this distance up here. All right, that distance up here. So how can we solve for that? All right, how can we solve for that? Well, it's going to be Right, tangent is going to be opposite, right? Opposite over adjacent. It's going to use the R because this angle is 90 degrees in here, right? Because it's, whoops. Right, this angle in here is 90 degrees. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Right, and here is, that's 90 degrees because it's tangent at that point. That's the point of tangency. Right, the point of tangency or the point of curvature, depending on where the stationing is, right? Where the stationing is along this road, right? There's usually, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the horizontal curves are usually used for road designs, right? So, okay. So, the tangent, the function, the trig function tangent of delta over two is equal to the opposite, is equal to the tangent t over r. Right, so this is an easy one, which means t is equal to r tan of delta over 2. Right, that's the definition of the tangent. All right, so what do we have left? We have our x, we have our external, and we have our midordinate. Our external is here to here, right? That's e external. So how can we solve for that? How can we solve for that? Well, we can see that this whole side will call Z. Let's call it Z. The whole side Z. This whole length from here, the, the point of curvature, to the point, I mean, uh, curve center, the curve center to the point of intersection, is equal to the distance Z, right? And what is that? That's R. R plus E. Right. So that whole distance is equal to R plus E. <coughs> We can use the cosine, right? The cosine, given the radius, right? We'll use the radius and this whole distance z. So the cosine of delta over 2 is equal to the radius r cosine adjacent over z, the whole distance, z. But what is z? We said that z was r plus e, so the cosine of delta over 2 is equal to r over r plus e, right? Which means that r plus e cosine delta over 2 is equal to r. So move the cosine over to the other side, which means r plus e is equal to r over the cosine of delta over 2. So now if we minus r from both sides, which means r, whoops, which means E is equal to 
um, r over the cosine of delta over 2 minus r or which is equal to r 1 over the cosine of delta over 2 whoops not that cosine of delta over 2 minus 1 right which is equal to this is the same thing as equal to r times the secant of delta over 2 minus 1 right this is usually used though this one's usually used the external is equal to r times the 1 over the cosine minus 1 1 over the cosine of delta over 2 minus 1 so that's how you derive the external the mid ordinate the mid ordinate well this let's define this short distance here as x as x right this distance from the c the chord to the curve center as x right so then r r is equal to x plus m right we defined I didn't draw it in there we defined this distance here as m Oops. right this is m in here the distance between the curve the arc the length of the curve and the chord directly in the middle right where the chord where the chord is directly in half you know that's the mid ordinate the mid ordinate so we said that r is equal to x plus m so if we solve for x what's x using x and r we'll say that the cosine of delta over 2 is equal to x over r right so x is equal to r cosine of delta over 2 so if we plug this in if we plug this in for x right let's do that so r scroll down a little bit r is equal to r cosine of delta over 2 plus m so if we minus this m is equal to r minus r cosine of delta over 2 so m is equal to r times 1 minus the cosine of delta over 2 and there we have it using trigonometry we have solved for each part of the curve right we solve for each part of the horizontal curve these horizontal curves are usually in you know developing subdivisions or highways or you know any any sort of thing surveyors need to know each part of the curve to do this kind of design or to re retrace um, previous surveys in the next video um, I'll do some examples of um, using these equations for horizontal curves. See you soon.